ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for a much-anticipated main event. Six rounds of lightweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. I'm very interested to see how he fights tonight. Douglas is coming off of an impressive knockout win. Well, that could be a catch-22, Joe. Yeah, a lot of confidence coming into this fight, but also it could be overconfidence. He can start to think he's a huge puncher now, and he has to throw only one shot at a time, and that can really take away from his overall game. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Let's see some more. We are underway movement. here, and we've heard from everybody that speed is going to be the big factor. Douglas has got it. Plenty of it. Yeah, now it's up to his opponent to come up with something. Maybe go to the body, take it away, slow him down. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Diesel. Keep it up. Keep it up. And coming upon the halfway mark okay, of this three-minute right. round. Go pay him back. Effective with that one-two. Getting to the head work, you see him go there again. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Good job, good job, champ. Final 10 seconds. We come to the end of the round. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And looking up at these corners, you can see the cut man obviously getting to work as they do after every round. What makes a great cut man? Well, he's got to have the right medicines, the right coagulants to stop that. Usually avatine, thrombin, adrenaline. But the most important thing, Joe, is he has to be calm. He has to be able to identify where that cut is. Maybe there's more than one cut. So you got to be calm enough to see the whole picture, the whole landscape, clean it off, put pressure on it, get that medicine in there, keep your fighter from getting excited. And then you need a fighter who's going to get on his wheels a little bit, give the medicine a chance to work. Douglas is doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. Jones's punches are way off the mark. He's been committed to throwing plenty of them. He just hasn't been committed to hitting plenty of the targets. No, and it's not like his opponent suddenly became the invisible man. I mean, he's right there in front of him. It's just that he's tired, and these punches are coming from left field, and guess what? They're not getting to the plate. A snapping combination by Douglas. Diesel's able to avoid that punch. Jump on him, jump on him right now. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, hands up, hands up. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Douglas's attitude in that last round really paid off. You saw he was a much busier fighter. How are you feeling out there? And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. 
Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there's some opportunities he has. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Double jab right to the face. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Come on! Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Now committing to that jab straight hand, and it works out. Yeah, baby, good work, good work. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Jones. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Jones' work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Jones. Diesel's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Jones is wanting the counter punch here, but that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that, but you know, people under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the ring especially, you see it right away. You, you kind of peek at it right away. It's obvious. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to see what he has to see because then he would have to discipline himself. He's not ready to do that. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave it this way. At the end of the day, People are gonna say, oh, that guy fought the kind of fight that, you know, hard to fight with, you know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on right now. Doubling up that jab that serves him well to the body. That's what I wanna see, baby. That's and he ties up on the see. inside. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Jones is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. A classic one-two combo by Diesel. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. looking for a way to get back into this fight, Teddy, because, you know, his way about him of being a good, steady, solid boxer is not winning this fight right now in these middle rounds. No, you're absolutely right. So, you know, the problem is he hasn't been able to gain the respect of his opponent. Has not been able to slow him down. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Diesel. Nicely timed, one, two. He missed with that headshot. Hey, hey, come on now, keep your feet moving. Come on now. Left and right, left and right. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. And another right hand comes in. Douglas's corner has very little to do right now. Why? Because their fighter has been nearly flawless with his accurate and clean punching. Well, part of that's attached to his personality. He doesn't waste anything. He's real calm. He's a conservative guy. Anything he throws, he's placing where it's going to land. Little double jab to the head. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Nice. Reich after catching one by Douglas. Diesel's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a big and man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. 
Jones's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. Super two-punch combo by Diesel. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Keep moving. Keep moving. Watch the hook. Douglas is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Great work offensively landing that combination by Douglas. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right. Look at that. Unable to handle that combination. He is down on the canvas. Getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Diesel's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. And that's the end of round five. Douglas's cleverness has really shown up here tonight. He's been just outsmarting his opponent, hitting these headshots, doing it from range. If this is to turn around towards the end of this fight, how will it happen? Well, what he has to do is opponent has to start timing his jab a little bit. You know, there's two ways to take away your opponent's jab if it's controlling range. One is with your own jab, the other is with the right hand. Start chucking right hands over it. Make him a little afraid of using that jab. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Douglas. Jones is showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Diesel's combination punching is working well here. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Solid. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five. Jones's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Jones is in bad shape, but he's doing the only thing he can at this point. He's tying up. Yeah, but what I'm a little surprised at, and I think what his opponent's going to pay a price for later on, he's letting him tie up. Douglas is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Off the target by Diesel. He could go down. He turned things around, and now his opponent has to be asking himself questions. Yeah, he's got to be saying, what do I have to do to get rid of this guy? Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. And what do these judges dare go another direction with this? I want their picture up on a post office board. The most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Now, right now, what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. This was a sure and steady effort by Douglas tonight. And it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't